Guys, get this right. One third of gamers are cheating bastards. That's according to the latest survey. One third of online gamers are cheating bastards. I find that staggering, but also quite believable because when you go into online games, you do very often see cheaters and I'd, what the hell is wrong with people? Do you know, I, I mean, uh, coming from the, back in the 90s with Quake, yes, we had people who used um, aimbots and wall hacks, but they were so easy to spot and it was very, very rare we, we, we even had these people. In the early noughties when we had the likes of Medal of Honor Allied Assault and that, you would pretty much, I think, I, I played that game very, very competitively for two years and I think I can only remember two cheaters. In the whole time I played that, just two. I mean, that's, that's you know, it's like a really small percentage of people actually cheated back then. But now, one third of gamers have or are actively using online cheats. I just watched a video about it. This guy in the Netherlands is, uh, he's making £1,500 a week selling hacks for, for the popular online shooters, you know. And... There was four arrested in China just recently for selling hacks. There's been numerous lawsuits from publishers um, targeting these people who uh, reverse engineer parts of the game and create hacks and sell them, you know, but it's obviously not working and it absolutely ruins competitive multiplayer games. I don't even play them anymore. I mean, I mean, I'm no, not good enough anyway to do well in them anymore. My hand to white coordination's long gone. Um, as yours will too when you get to my age but even if I was like 17 and 18 again and I was um, able to come top through skill I don't think I'd play them because what is the point of playing these games when you know there's other players in there who are just hacking and the, the sheer amount of hacks that there is now is just staggering you've got hacks that will lag people you've got hacks that narrow the bullet spread of your weapon so there's no bullet spread really You've got hacks that take away all your recoil. You've got your usual x-ray vision hacks, um, which is now a feature in most f***ing games. You've got the aimbots and all of that kind of stuff. But it's big business. It's absolutely big business. People are paying money. Gamers are paying money to download these hacks, putting them onto their PC, joining a multiplayer game, coming top, sitting there all proud of themselves, because they are, their name is top of the leaderboard, even though they're obviously the worst player in there, or why else would you use hacks? I mean, you only use hacks if you absolutely suck. So deep down in their psyche, they must know they are absolutely the worst player. When they look at that leaderboard, and whoever's name's bottom, they will know that their name is actually below theirs. It's just artificially at the top. And... I think I think the mental case is these people because I honestly believe some of them will think they are good. I, I really do. I mean, we live in strange times where there's a lot of strange people around with really f***ed up ideologies. The world's kind of upside down at the minute. A lot of, you know, in a lot of areas, not every area, but in a lot of areas, um, the world is completely upside down. What used to be bad is now good, and what used to be good is now bad. Um, It'll fix itself in time, but at the minute we're going through a kind of mental phase uh, in the world. But in gaming, um, this is a big, big problem and it's costing developers and publishers a hell of a lot of money. And how do we combat it? What do we do? But there's not a lot you can do about it other than trying to find these people, get them banned. For me, my solution is simple. I would jail the bastards. I would. I would put the fuckers in prison. And before you start saying, oh, Mac, it's only a game. No, it's not a, only a game. It is a livelihood for a lot of developers. And if people are actively avoiding playing their game because they're sick of the plague of hackers, then they are losing money, the developers and the publishers. So it is serious business. They are losing a lot of money because of these people. Also as well, people like you and I, you do your work, you want your playtime. You go and spend hard-earned money on a game. You want to come and have your money's worth out of that game. Now, if you buy an online multiplayer shooter and you go in there and you have no fun because of hackers, you've wasted whatever, 30, 40, 50 pound. 
it's kind of like these people are stealing your pleasure. So, hey, theft of pleasure, theft of property, property, f it, jail the c**ts. I tell you what, little f**king Johnny would think twice about downloading f**king cheats if he was going to go to Borstal. That's like prison for kids. Or jail, you know, the big, big boy jail if he's 18. And I would love it. I would love it. I absolutely, I tell you what, whenever, whenever I see a hacker being led away to jail, I actively watch them videos on YouTube and laugh and get me popcorn out. I've got zero sympathy for any hackers, these people who infect you with viruses. I've got no sympathy for the fuckers. Lock them up. Oh, but Mac, no, no rehabilitation. No, let them get rehabilitated in the fucking showers. That'll rehabilitate the c**ts. Max, stop ringing your bell. No, they are. These people are a scourge in society because it might start off just hacking computer games. Where does it end? Where does it end? The showers. You're obsessed with the showers. So I just thought I'd just rant this one out, guys, simply because I'm downloading as I speak the Call of Duty multiplayer beta. Uh, I'll be doing a preview on that this weekend. And I just thought. Am I looking forward to playing Call of Duty multiplayer? Well, I'm, I've heard that it's going to be a lot better than any other Call of Duty multiplayer since the, the very early days of Call of Duty. Um, but you know what? When the game comes out, it's going to be full of hackers. The hackers will be all over that because it's a brand new game. So they'll be bringing out all the new f***ing cheats for it and all the little wankers will be downloading it and using it so they can be coming top. And will I play it? Will I hell? So there you go guys, food for thought the next time you're playing Battlefield 5, Fortnite or whatever the hell, Apex Legends or any other popular multiplayer shooter. The guy who comes top with all of those kills way more than anybody else is probably cheating. You've got to f***ing love it. Ah! The Aussie! <laughs> he got you in your camping spot. <laughs> Your health must have been really low. Oh, you! Where's <laughs> me f***ing bell? <laughs>